Hey, it's the Terminian Hero here, and we're playing some more Ape Escape 3. I actually died twice in that last level as K, just from not noticing that my health was low. I know people really don't like the Zelda beeping, but man, it really helps for your survival. The fact that this game doesn't really warn you... Yeah, I, I also never showed the boss picture of Monkey Red here, and I can't remember if I did for Pink, but... I've shown that now. Anyways, moving on. We are headed to... Tomoki City! Let's go! We gotta catch one specter. Hey, listen up, but don't get excited. Yes. This new morph is going to make your dream come true. It's called Cyber Ace. Since you're a boy, we'll call it the Thunder Ace. Its specialties are the Electro Pulse Attack and Mid-Air Dash. Want to go over to the training room to try it out? Sure, and there was actually a poster of... There were two posters, actually, of Cyber Ace in the shopping area. But yeah, so K's is called Thunder Ace, because he's a boy. But yeah, it's it's different for, for Yumi. When she makes her contract, she becomes Princess Ace. Morphing into the Cyber Ace will make your dreams come true. You'll be stunned at the power you'll have. Tilt the right analog stick to fire the laser. The beam will reflect off any wall it hits. Wipe out all the teleborgs you see in front of you. Okay. Yeah, we've got a bouncy beam. Also, I didn't mean to defeat that first guy when I did. So I had to watch that star disappear while Aki was talking. I was aiming for the phone. I also like how these little devices, you know, sort of, uh, they, uh, throughout the Ape Escape games, they sort of show the time period. First it was mailboxes, then it was, like, wired phones, then it was cell phones, but they're pretty dated cell phones, so if we get an Ape Escape 4, fingers crossed, it'd be like a modern cell phone. Well done. Okay, now here's how to capture monkeys while you're morphed. Give the right analog stick a quick press to make the Cyber Ace capture monkeys right from a dash. Oh, and another thing. If other monkeys are lurking nearby, try a combo to grab a bunch of them. Isn't that great? Okay, now go capture all the stuffed monkeys over there. Okay, how does this work? That didn't really combo them. There we go, that was a combo. Not quite sure how that works. So I just... The Cyber Ace can move by dashing through the air. So I guess I can shoot the phone, but not until I'm close. Tilting the left analog stick in any direction during a jump will let you fly in that direction. When stopped in mid-air, if you quickly release the left analog stick and then tilt it one more time, it'll let you keep on flying. See if you can fly all the way to the other side of the valley. Okay, I wasn't really paying attention to what she said and I feel like I should have. What am I doing? Okay, whoa. And you can do it like twice in a row, kind of like Pikachu's up B in Smash Bros. And it allows you to change its direction, so that's cool. Awesome! Now, are you ready to learn how to make the Cyber Ace perform special attacks? 
rotate the right analog stick to generate an electropulse spark that'll damage everyone around you. Wipe out all of the teleborgs you see in front of you. Okay. Uh, that seems like an area of effect thing that honestly wasn't working very well. Probably the least exciting part of this new more. But hey, the rest of it is cool. But seriously, am I doing something wrong with that move? Because it doesn't do much. Capture Spectre! I'm gonna have to show Yumi's version of that scene at some point, I guess. Anyways, these platforms seem like the platforms that were on the final level in Ape Escape 2. The specialties of the new Cyber Ace Morph are... Electro Pulse Attacks and the Mid-Air Dash. Tilt the right analog stick to perform a laser attack. Aim the laser beam at walls to make it bounce off them. That will be really handy in wiping out your enemies. Now, if you tilt the left analog stick while jumping, you'll be able to fly through the air. Your attacks will also become more powerful. And what's more, rotating the right analog stick will let you perform a powerful charge-up attack. It'll let you generate a powerful electro-pulse spark. Yeah, except that charge-up attack really doesn't work, but whatever. Cyber Ace! Is there anything down here? No? Okay, then. Let's get rid of these guys and then make our way back across. Ooh, let's take out some UFOs with this if we can. I took out one. Oh, and of course he drops stuff to keep my my thing going. No! I gotta get used to the fact that trying to capture monkeys with the Cyber Ace moves you. <laughs> Because I just tried to capture and it just sent me straight off the level. Let's try this again with the last two uh, UFOs here. Am I gonna die? Because I kind of don't have a lot of... Yeah, I don't really have a lot of help, or a lot of lives with K. I wonder if zero counts as a life in this game. It better, cause I am not doing too well. Alright, let's cyber ace this one. Oh, 
Okay, and let's shoot these boxes, too, just to get what we can from them. Moving on now. What's with these poles? It makes it seem like... I guess that's how to get out of the water if we fall in. Is there anything else here? Nothing? Also, I have no idea how many monkeys are actually in this level. All I know is it wants me to catch Spectre. Oh gosh, this... I didn't want to go on an elevator ride or whatever you would classify this as. There was a monkey back there, and this is all... I also would have wanted to go the other way first anyways. Because it seems like this place loops in circles. And there's a monkey over this way too, let's head back. This place is kinda crazy. I really hope we find another extra life here. Yumi doesn't need it, but K sure as heck does. Yo. Wait. Was there not a monkey over on that platform? I'm gonna have to get my monkey radar out for this. Too bad we don't have our magnet gadget to help us take care of this guy. We could pull his shield right off, but that gadget's not in this game. Maybe this monkey over here is the monkey we were chasing. Yeah, he totally gets into this little pod and goes around the level. So that might mean that I have to be sneaky. Also, are we destroying his shield? Because it looks pretty beat up. Will you stop? Don't make me use a morph against you. Seriously, don't make me do it. Gosh darn, this guy is annoying. Uh, get out of here. Alright, let's go take care of this monkey before we head onward. There's no pod over here. He has to go to the other one, and he's gonna make it there, too. Oh, no, we just barely... Don't you dare! Okay, we caught him in time. I suppose I can't jump in that. No, I can't. There are apparently more monkeys downward. But not anywhere accessible from, like, where I've been. I'd have to go across this way. Will do. We'll just jump across these really flat cars. Yeah, 
I'm not gonna deal with you. Alright, luxury and something else that's on the sign. I didn't really have much of a chance to read it. Man, that hurts. Let's get our recording for the Simeon Cinema. Now let's take care of these fools. Okay. Now we're on to our little sideways elevator three and it's not letting me move because it's a loading zone and we have made it to Tomoki Tower it's not the little sideways elevators aren't using numbers anymore they've just gone on to playing card symbols for some reason. Oh gosh! So glad I got that. No, I missed. Okay, we'll have to go back for that one. And that one. Ooh, we do get an extra life. I'll have to go back for that monkey, too. But we got an extra life, so I am happy. Just look at these guys swimming in the air. They're crazy. These guys are going to be really annoying to get, though. Maybe I should think about using one of the... Um, one of the morph powers to get them. I'm scared to use the Cyber Ace's morph abilities, though. Uh, let's go, uh... Would that would this work? Cause I mean they're in the air. That's why I'm concerned that it won't work. And that's a pretty similar one. Okay, that didn't work. I was able to get that one with it. Okay, so we're only missing one more. Of course, we're gonna have to take at least two more trips, because we have to go to the monkey and come back here. Can we actually just catch him with our net? Are we good enough to do that? No, we are not, apparently. Alright, let's try this again and not miss. We'll do the Kung Fu Fighter again. Are you kidding me? How am I missing that? Can we turn this around? I mean, I've got to wait for my thing to charge up again anyways. Like, the swimming monkeys were cool and all, but they are way too hard to catch. I 
guess let's see if the knight works. I'm just not sure because they're not on the ground. I don't even know if I was close enough there. But I don't I don't think that was gonna work. Maybe we could try Wild West Kid? Or, you know, any of the ones that can shoot a thing out. I just don't want to use Cyber Ace, because I am not confident with that one. But maybe it would be the best? There we go, I caught him anyways. It was just very troublesome. I wonder how much time I've spent on this elevator now. And we are now inside Tomoki Tower. Alright, bout time. The heck is on these conveyor belts? Let's just not speak of that. That's definitely a pathway we could take, but this is definitely also a pathway we could take if we use our Fantasy Knight. Get in my net already. Ow! Give me my cookies and my coins. Okay. I think we've got all the monkeys so far in this level. Should be able to open that door with this button, I assume. Or this button is an elevator. And that button will bring that elevator down. That makes sense. Sorry, RC car. I'll warp you back later. Yeah, our, our kung fu fighter could not reach that button. No way, no how. But now it could. Give it a good kick, and give this a good kick, and give that a good kick. Give that a good catch, and this a good kick, and this a good kick. Almost thought it was going to be a punch there for a second. Ooh, big cookie. Instant full heal. Wow, that was awesome. Yeah, doing that mid-air kick was very scary because I could have easily flown off, but I didn't, and it ended up being awesome. 
Okay, just warping in here out of nowhere. I see what's going on here. Okay, more robot fights. I guess let's Cyber Race this, or Thunder Race, since we're playing as K. But it's Cyber Race either way. Guess let's catch this guy while we're here. Ooh, cookie, I want the cookie. Forget the monkey, I got the cookie. All right. Okay, we're a good ways up to Moki Tower, but we've still got a ways to go. Now we're a good ways down to Moki Tower. Anyways, let's not fall now. Also, those things were falling as we were going across them, apparently. Which is horrifying. I'm coming for you, monkey, as soon as I get my transformation back. Miracle Ninja! Ow! Now I gotta wait for my Miracle Ninja again. Okay, let's not screw this up. What the heck? Well, I made it across somehow. I don't know how, but I made it. Ninja that guy. And these guys while I'm at it. Get some good cookies. Gotta love them cookies. And we're back in. What on earth is that? Why is that coming out of his butt? And do we have to kick him in the... Okay, I thought this was a family-friendly game. I was mistaken. I really want to get rid of all these guys, but I also really don't want to have to morph. So that's where we came from. This is a toilet that drops stuff just off into the city, which is wonderful. That is a blocked staircase. That I can actually do. Ow. Well, I missed one. Okay, I still got it while it was a ton. I'll just leave that on the button there. Well, that opened a thing on a higher floor, but what does that do for me now? Oh, I actually can reach this button. I didn't think I could. 
The heck, I just shot a golden monkey out of somewhere. But it opened my way forward. I'm also very near death, which I've thankfully noticed this time. Okay, so there's genie stuff going on over there. They really want to make you use everything that you've had up to this point. That's an exit. I don't want to go there yet. This poor guy. This poor guy. Oh, he landed in the toilet. Okay. Now that we got Riley, let's head on back up. Now, do we have anything else to do with this statue? Or not? It just seems so suspicious, you know? I mean, I guess we've already done plenty to it, now that I think about it. So let's move on. And in case you can't tell by the fact that we're supposed to catch Spectre here, we are going to be fighting a boss at the end of this. I'm not exactly sure when that boss is, so the video, like, the video might end kind of abruptly, except that it won't because we'll probably be showing a cutscene, maybe. I'm pretty sure this cutscene is the same regardless of who you're playing as though, so maybe I'll save the cutscene for the next video. I don't know, or maybe I'll just show the cutscene twice anyways, even though it's the same. We will see, as I have not decided yet. Whoa, what you doing up here? Don't you be respawning. Well, maybe you could be respawning if you're giving me that much money. But I also don't want to die. Alright, this looks like this might be the final area in the level before the boss. These are some crazy jumps. I was thinking this might be a place where we would have to catch a monkey like that. It reminded me of the same platforms from Ape Escape 2. There were monkeys like that in Ape Escape 2 as well, where they like had these suits they would fly around in. 
on the final level. Alright, well there's a big obvious button we've got to hit here. Which basically sent another one of those things over there, so there's probably going to be another big obvious button to hit over there. Yep, looks like it. I'm getting every last one of these. No coin left behind. Alright, Cyber Ace time. So I want to take this guy out from long distance because it's safer. Oh my gosh. That was scary. And I assume this one will open the door, which probably leads to the boss. Sure enough, does. And I have one cookie to face the boss with, so that's wonderful. But that should be fine, considering how the boss works, actually. But you'll see that in the next video. I'm the Terminian Hero, and I will see you then. Welcome, welcome to my exquisite lair. <gasps> Dr. Tomoki! That's right! Where's Spectre? So sorry to disappoint. Mr. Spectre is no longer here. He's quite busy, you know. Well, no matter. In either event, your broadcasting station is finished! Yeah! No use resisting! We have you! <laughs> Just wait until you see what we have in store for you. The Spectre TV project that you two tried to stop was just the beginning. Our real plan begins now. Our real plan. None other than the Double Paradise Plan. While everyone is helpless from our Spectre TV, we will launch from our giant base in orbit around the Earth. A huge... Hold on there, Dr. Uh, Tomoki. That is quite enough. Oh, uh, right. Well, if it isn't, my dear friend, Mr. Spectre. Thank you for your advice, sir. Don't you think it's about time to take care of these meddling fools? Exquisite <laughs> idea. You just stay there and watch this. Indeed I will. Indeed. I'm so sorry, but your time is now up. Ah!